Flash, 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 flash. Hey guys, welcome to the video, welcome to the channel. Uh, if this is your first time, thank you guys for checking us out. Um, in this video, we are going to show off uh, Sui Super Hog. So hopefully by the end of the video, we will have one, showed you what the attack is, uh, two, how to uh, use the proper army. We're gonna show off a replay review. And finally, we're gonna show a live attack of generally how I uh, try to go about the attack. Um, I was peak 5700 uh, trophies and rank 107 in the US. Um, so it has worked out well for me. Um, I hope you guys find this video useful. Thanks. Um, I like to say this isn't my own strategy. I got it from Big Bale. Um, so thank you to him for that. Um, so let me show you the army comp. So it is a hero dive into super hogs. So in the Sui squad, you have the mini warden, the ice golem, the electro titan, and the yeti. You are going to use a log launcher as your CC. Um, and then you are gonna use the super hogs along with all the heals and freezes to take out the rest of the base. Um, it's worked pretty well for me. So in this base, we're looking at the base and we're analyzing that the town hall has two invisibility spell towers, which isn't always the easiest to attack into. Um, looking at this though, we're gonna attack from the opposite side of the base. Um, speed it up to where we start the attack. Um, here we go. So we're gonna start at the opposite side, like I said, and start with the Sui portion of the attack. So that's gonna be the Yeti, uh, the Mini Warden, uh, the Electro Titan here on the outside that is clean, along with the two heroes and the Siege Machine. Uh, the goal is to get the Siege Machine again to the center of the base, and Yetis are inside. We will then place a Rage where the Yetis uh, dispense from the Siege Machine, um, and this will allow us to uh, basically decimate the core. Um, and then whichever way our queen walks, so unfortunately in this attack, it didn't go perfectly because the queen walked outside, uh, but we adapted and placed down our hog riders quickly, uh, and we're able to um, use the two heals we had along with the five freezes, and that's why I love this attack trick, because we have so many options to keep our heroes and hog riders alive. Um, the five freezes along with the two heals, and normally a rage to get through the town hall is awesome. So getting to the back end of the space, the town hall is obviously the priority to get down. Um, I may have overused my freeze spells here, but I wanted to make sure I got the job done. So I froze the town hall. Uh, I'm gonna pop the warden ability right about now. This will give me vulnerability to long the troops including my RC, which is lucky enough. While this whole time, my queen has stayed at full health because I acted quick enough earlier to break. Um, to speed up the rest of this attack, as I'm, this is pretty much a foregone conclusion with Diggy on your side. Uh, in my opinion, the most OP pet. Uh, this base is crushed, and it really does show the power of the Sui Super Hogs because this was not perfectly executed, and it was a crushing three-star in Legends League. Okay, now let us do a live attack um, to practice what we preach. Um, try to execute the same way we did in the replays. Okay, so looking at this base is a ring base. Ring bases are never easy. Personally, my least favorite base to attack, but we'll give it a try. So when approaching this base, um, we're going to want to start from this bottom side and try to funnel all of our troops into the core, whichever way the queen walks. Again, we're gonna place the super hogs uh, and use the freeze to our advantage. All right, so let's get going. Starting the funnel. Okay, everything is going fine. Um, queen started walking a little bit, which is kind of annoying, but nothing we can fix. 
We're gonna place it on the headhunters to help out our heroes here. The siege machine is doing a fine job here. We're gonna place a rage down here pretty soon. We're gonna use the king ability. Placing the rage down, and in come the bagos on the left side. We're going to poison and use the queen ability. Alright, now we have a ton of free spells to work with. They are our best friend, so we're going to use them. We're going to heal and rage here. We're going to use the warden ability, as it seems like the best time to do it. Uh, most of the hogs ran around the outside. We're going to use cleanup on the outside of the base. I need the RC to really survive here if you can. Throws the seeking shield. Should be enough guys, but let's see. We have clean up on the outside of the base. We have Diggy still alive, which is a great sign. And that should be a ring base three star, um, which you don't see every day. Um, obviously not everything went perfect there. Um, the CC split up. I probably should have placed the poison a little bit sooner, but um, a good three-star attack. You can never complain about this. So, um, the one thing I would recommend changing in this attack strategy um, is the pets. Um, I would rather use the poison lizard on the warden um, to help with those heroes, and I would use the the phoenix on the king, as it allows him to survive a little bit further in the base, and instead of dying right there, he might have made it up to this compartment, which would have obviously helped the rest of our army. Um, so, there's a three star. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys learned a little bit. Thanks.